So this is going to be another example of using the uh, JASP to do an independent t-test. So I made this fake data where I recorded whether people were on a Mac or a PC and the time it took them to troubleshoot a problem. Now my data aren't appropriately set up yet because I didn't um, load it over as a JASP. It's a CSV file. And remember when you load things in, in from a CSV file, they always come over as though they're nominal. Now I can't change this one to not be nominal because these are words. So there's no way words can be scalar. So even if I tried to click scale, it wouldn't let me. However, the time it takes to troubleshoot, that is scalar. And so if I take the, um, the icon and change it to scale or number, you can see I can change it. And so we always wanna have our data set up appropriately so that JASP will allow us to do the appropriate test. Otherwise we won't be able to click through the right tests. So what we're going to do is click on t tests and now we're going to click on independent sample t so remember how this works is that our dependent variable that's the outcome of interest so time here is our outcome of interest and if you're not sure jasp is helping you out here's a ruler icon so only the ruler icon would work here now we need to figure out how we want to assess them and so Computer is the grouping variable and see it tells you here. I would only accept Venn diagrams or ordinal data. And so we're going to put computer down here. And so we have our um, data here. Our observed or calculated T value is negative 3.586. Our degrees of freedom are 64. You can see this is significant because the P value is less than 0.05. It's so much less than 0.05 that JASP got lazy and just said it's super small. Um, now, if you wanted to make it one-tailed or two-tailed, you do that here. I do include, I sorry, I do encourage you to click on descriptive so that you can see that the mean for the PC group, it took them longer than the mean for the Mac group. Um, if you wanted to change the order of the Mac and the PCs, so let's say you wanted it to, in this case, it's Mac minus PC. Let's say you wanted it to be PC minus Mac. What you would have to do is go into the data um, in the, and then edit the column. So if you're in a new version of JASP, it doesn't have the OK button. But what I'm going to do is come back here and click computer. And I'm just going to change the order. So you see how um, PC is coming before Mac. So now when I want to run my independent t-test, what you're going to see is it's going to come up with the same number, except it's not going to be negative. So what you can see over here is now it's doing PC minus Mac. PC is first. It's the same number, 3.586, but it's not negative because I reversed the order. So you have to choose which one you think is most important and put that in the column first um, or change the order in your column so that you're able to interpret this data. And this is also a reason why this descriptive report helps because now we can see the mean for the PC users was higher than the mean for the Mac users. But the bulk of what we needed was our calculated T value and whether that was significant by looking at the P value. 